everybody, it's Crazy Fango Shime. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're continuing with The Mandalorian, episode 7, uh, chapter 23. There's no title at the moment. So, uh, I am very excited for this episode, especially because last week's episode I thoroughly enjoyed. It was so good, and I loved the Clone Wars vibe that I got from it. Um, it was so good to have Lizzo and Jack Black in the episode. I know a lot of people like had mixed opinions about it. I really enjoyed it and I also loved the character development between Din and Boro. Like it was so good and also I really liked the fact that Boro now has the dark Darksaber. Um, I know a lot of people have had contradicting like opinions about it which is fine. Everybody's allowed to like or dislike something. Um, I know a lot of people are sort of like giving feedback in terms of like how they handled Din's story in this season. I won't lie, even with me, I, I am sort of disappointed in the way that they've just suddenly moved and shifted the focus. Um, but in a way, I still love that Bo is the center of attention because I love her so much. I love Katie Sackhoff. She's an incredible actress and she plays her so well. So for me, I'm overall happy. I know it could be done better, but still thoroughly enjoyed it. Now this is the f the second last episode before the end of the season and we got one more episode next week. Oh, it's come so quick. I'm a little bit nervous into like what's going to happen. Um so yeah, we're going to jump into this. I've heard things like people have seen the episode because of the amazing like Star Wars celebration that just took place over the weekend. Um and a lot of people didn't give spoilers. I'm surprised that no one released any spoilers. Um but a lot of people have been saying there's some stuff that's going to happen. Um, so I'm a bit nervous, but let's jump into this. I'm super excited. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Ooh, looks like we're back on Coruscant, I think. Hello, Elia. I think that's her. Oh. Oh. That's terrifying. <gasps> there he is! <laughs> Things are getting spicy! What the fuck? Um. What is this? I have so many questions! <gasps> are those clones? Strength must not be waste. Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will. Herald in the re-emergence of our military and provide Commandant Hutz enough time to defend <gasps> Project Necromancer. It's all coming together! Fuck! Our one hope for success relies upon the secrecy of his return. Which we'll find out in a circle. Of his imminent return. Perhaps it's time we look to new. Yeah, yeah. No! And what is your security concern? Mandalorians. That they are preparing to retake their home world of Mandalorians. Which is why we need to stamp them out now. Ooh, I'm worried. Long live the Empire! Long live the Empire! Oh, he's such a good actor. Oh, I'm scared! What the fuck, dude? The spies! Oh! Dude, I literally just got chills. Fucking hell, dude. Oh. I'm so scared! Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> That'll be so terrifying. Oh, shit! I was scared for a second. I was like, oh, God. But no. It's okay then. It's some, I think it's Din and Burr and stuff. Shit, things are getting so serious. I'm actually really scared! <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> yeah, and I think a lot of people forget, like, the importance of keeping on the helmet too for Din's clan. It's completely different. A lot of people are like, yeah, but the importance has been taken away. It's still important because of Din's clan. For Bo, it's a bit different. Oh, they got him! Working! Admission. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's better. And Grogu likes him. Grogu is too young to operate heavy machinery. Maybe when he's older. No. <laughs> he's saying he's old enough to operate it. Yes! yes. 
This is not a good idea. Come on. Oh! <laughs> He's in his rubble face. We'll scout I'm the scared. surface, find out what remains of the Great Forge, and establish a safe perimeter. I need volunteers from both tribes. I will go. <laughs> I will go. I will go. I will go as well. Oh shit! Oh, dude, that was such a good shot. Oh, I've got greasies. Oh, what a shot, dude. Yeah, I wonder if Paz and all this stuff have ever actually seen Mandalore. It's worse than I thought. I was here when it happened. Oh, interesting perspective. Oh, ho, ho, that was so sick. That was such a good shot. Oh. Mm, she's excited, which is good, because Bar deserves this after everything she's gone through with the Clone Wars and stuff. If you haven't, I will say, if you haven't watched the Clone Wars and stuff, highly recommend it to see like her storyline and stuff. Very, very good. Oh, there's something coming. Oh my God, what is that? Are those pirates? Did she? That is how Moff Gideon came to possess the dark saber. Oh! I didn't trust him, but it was the only chance I had to save our peep factions. Mandalore has always been too powerful for any enemy to defeat. It is always our own division that destroys us. Mmm, very true. We were taught that everyone but us had forsaken the way. Oh, you yeah, didn't wouldn't have known. We'll rebuild it. Isn't that our history? Thousands of years, we have survived. I don't know if I can keep everyone together. What means more to me is honor, and loyalty, and character. These are the reasons I serve you, Lady Kreese. Dude, that's like... <laughs> I will serve you until it is. I'm sorry! What the fuck? That... I'm sorry. That was so... I'm, I'm, I, I know a lot of people don't like the like if there's a romance between them, but fucking hell, dude, that was the most beautiful confession and loyalty serving piece of sh like writing ever. My heart. Oh god. Okay. I'm sorry. I actually really want them to get together. So that was the icing on the cake for me. <laughs> this is why I serve you, Lady Burkatan. Ah! Sorry. Continue first light. These here are too weak to continue. We must return to the gauntlet and I will ferry them back to the fleet. We can bring you there. Woo! Well that makes it easier. I'm excited! <laughs> no, but I'm also, I, I don't know, I'm still sus of this lady. She's taking the fucking ship and going. Or is something gonna be happening like above the surface? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sus of the armor. I don't know. Oh, giga! Paz, chill out. Ah! Oh my god, please don't take Paz's helmet off. It was bound to happen sooner or later. What do you mean neither side can step in? Cut off! Oh. Damn. Oh my god, <laughs> look at crawling away. Oh! Kruger! Oh, good baby. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? What is that? Oh god. Oh my god. Gregor! Oh, thank god. No! Oh god, some people were hurt. I just saw some people flying. 
Oh, God. Reminds me of the mines of Moria. You lived here? We all did. Yeah, this reminds me of, like, The Hobbit and the Misty Mountain. More survivors. Those are Mandalorians. Oh my god! Paz, be careful! No! Oh god, that probably means they have backup or something. Wait! Oh! Ooh, I love this take on the theme, but oh my god, I'm scared! Oh no, is it a trap? Oh! I knew it! Oh! Din! Oh my god! Oh my god! Please! No, 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 no! Din! <gasps> Mandalore will live on in me. By aggregating the best of each, I will create an army. That will bring order to the galaxy. Activate the interceptors and bombers. No! Oh my god. Take him to the debriefing. No! Oh my god. Surrender the Darksaber and tell these people that this planet is mine. Not again. No. This is the way. No, Paz, just run! We're not leaving you behind. Paz! No! Paz! This is the way. Oh my god. Oh my god! Wait, what? Wait, are these the first of those knights or whatever they are? No, Paz! Oh! <laughs> that was fucking cold. No, Paz! credits fuck dude oh my god um okay I, I got a pace just because like what the fuck was that dude like what <laughs> i i knew something was coming and i knew it was gonna be bad but oh my god oh this is even bigger than i imagined and all the lines are starting to come together oh dude i love that episode First of all, it was incredible. So good. So well done. So The pacing was fantastic. The writing was really good. Um, and yeah, this is what it built to, basically. And it was all fucking worth it. I can say that. <laughs> Especially because I think, you know, I think a lot of people wanted a lot of action this season and all that jazz. But I really think that all the threads have come together really well in this episode and I think will tie together well in the next episode, which obviously is the last episode of the season. I was like, oh my god, like, yeah, they've been waiting for Thrawn, basically, obviously. <sighs> but, um, yeah, it makes sense that they're not going to wait any longer because it has been a while, I'm pretty sure, since he disappeared. So obviously they're like, yeah, let's, we need to move and do something. And obviously it was... I'm obviously Moff Gideon being like, I want to get rid of the Mandalorians, let's do this. And of course, they just happen to be gathering all these Mandalorians together. And just, yeah, Moff Gideon's obsession with Mandalore, I was like, something's gonna happen. And him wearing that helmet too, because a lot of people were theorizing, I can't remember what the character name was, but people were theorizing that the um, armorer was someone from, like, before. Like, she obviously was from Mandalore, and she um, 
she like obviously grew up there and she's seen the Great Forge, so she's obviously been there before. So I can't remember her name. I just remember that did she have purple hair or something? I remember she was in the Clone Wars, like the final episode, like the final few episodes that they were. She was in it, um, and was there when they were trying to take over Mandalore or like try get it get it from what's his face. Darth Maul, um, and uh, yeah, I can't remember. I'll try and find the names. I'm probably not going to be able to have time to do that today, but yeah, honestly, it's... Whew! That episode was fire! So from the writing to the directing, the cinematography was so good. It was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen to Din? Because I was like, his helmet's going to be ripped off, isn't it? And, uh, and then we'll get every season we get a face reveal! So it's like... That's probably going to happen next episode. And, uh, Din better not die. I would be really upset. I, I won't lie. I li- You guys know he's like the love of my life. I love Pedro Pascal. I love Din Djarin. I will cry so badly if something happens to him. Or oh, my baby Grogu. Grogu has grown so much and just... He was a big boy in this episode too. Like, oh, I was so proud of him. And then Bar, oh, Bar, my queen, she can, she is amazing. And also just again, like the whole thing with her and Din. If it's romance, it's, I love it. If not, still I love it. Cause it was like, it's their chemistry together is so good. It's like, make it happen but also we've seen how romance dies in star wars star wars doesn't like romance so that's also my worry it's like i want them to get together but also i know that they're going to break our hearts in some way or another no one gets a happy ending so anyway (laughs) enough of my rant bloody hell dude this was such a good episode the tension was there and just, mm, the acting was so good. And just, it's all built to this. So I love how we had the connections from Coruscant. Then the whole thing with Moff Gideon. And then the whole thing with, like, bringing it all together. And then showing all this. And then going back to Mandalore. And, oh, Paz as well. Like, he also grew so much. I love Paz Vizsla so much. And his sacrifice, he went down like a true hero. So, that's a question. Were those guys, like, the first sort of, like, experiments of those Red Knights, I think it is, from... What is it? Is it Return... No, not Return of the Jedi. The Last Jedi, um, or whatever it's called, um, from the series with Rey and all that stuff. Um, and Rey and, um, Ben Solo fight them. I can't remember because I haven't watched those movies in a long time. I might need to go watch them because we're leading into... The, we're building into that, which is what I love because... Again, like, these, all these threads are starting to sew together. And obviously, a lot of people have been saying that the whole Ahsoka series is going to tie into the Mandalorian series. And then we're going to have, as it was announced at Star Wars Celebration, we're going to have that movie made by Dave Filoni. And it's going to tie everything together with the whole thing with Ahsoka and then the whole arc with Mandalorian. It's all going to be in that one film, which is going to be sick. I'm so fucking nervous for the next episode. Because, again, if Din dies, I'm a be so mad they're taking him to an interrogation or whatever debriefing room they better not harm my baby boy because i'm gonna be real mad and grogu oh i would love it if grogu just went full jedi just like oh yeah like oh that would be really cool so thank you guys so much for watching this i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on this episode of the mandalorian episode 7 um the spies so um i will say yeah i'm still sus of the Amara. Like, I don't know what her play is, because I'm like, is she good? Is she, like, bad? What's her play? So, I feel, ah, it would be cool or interesting to see if they're, like, next episode, if the Amara is a spy within their ranks, or if someone else is a spy within their ranks, giving info to Moff Gideon. That would be cool. We also have the tie of how the, um, Beskar alloy was in the ship, from how Moff Gideon escaped, so I'm guessing that is from his new like henchmen with all the, the all the armor. So I'm guessing they are the ones that broke him out. Looking forward to this because yeah, this is what I've always been interested about because I f- I forgot about like where these things land in terms of the timeline. So I was like, if Mandalorians rising up and they're trying to get it back, what happens to them like during the whole like Force Awakens, Last Jedi, and the Rise of Skywalker stuff? What happens to Mandalore during that time? So I'm guessing this answers it, which I'm scared. Because it's like, do they all die? 
do they go to do they all go to prison or something? Mm, I'm, nah, I don't want to think about that. So yeah, I'm going to stop here because I'm going to be anxious. So yeah, again, leave your thoughts down below. Um, you know I love talking to you guys and hearing your theories, so please leave it down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there because otherwise I'm going to be ranting for like another 20 minutes. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Mango out. Woo!